Well, hello guys. I don't know if you're necessarily going to get to see me on this video just because of the way I am working things out. I am in the gym, as you can see, and I am near the side of the gym of the Welcome Center. And I am taking film from here and I'm all looking all the way across and I want you to notice a few things about the opposite side of the gym. There's going to be a PDF today that does show up the last few days. I've been wanting to do it, but it just hasn't kind of worked out as I've been looking through things. Um, but, and I'm hopefully going to have like a Google Doc kind of typed up next to that too, so you can look through and understand some things and maybe answer some questions on that Google Doc. But as I look across the gym here, you can see like the rafters are on the ceiling. The gym floor is the gym floor. Like you see the Falcon on the floor. You see We Are the Lou. You can see the jersey, retired jerseys and stuff like that, the scoreboard. Um, but what I'm going to do for just a minute is turn the camera so that I'm actually facing the mat that is like right next to me. But then I have the little black compact mirror that maybe you guys will see me for a minute here depending on the video. Um, but I could hold it up and look at myself in the mirror. Um, this is that black one with the black covering which again look at how curved it is and you can see that. I'm probably going to do this experiment over again uh, with the gray mirror. I have both of them in here. But if you notice right now that that other side of the gym is a really far way away. And so if I slowly start walking this way, you notice that I would get closer and closer. And I mean, like if you would pause the video, you would probably notice that the letters of we are the Lou are starting to get a little bit bigger. All right. And as I would get closer and closer, they'd get bigger. Just like this T, you can definitely tell that T is now filling the screen here. Well, what I'm going to do is hopefully try to hold up this compact mirror and there's the rafters, okay? And it takes a little bit of figuring out for me. But what I'm gonna try to do is get it figured out. There's the scoreboard, there's the mat. So let's see. Just a second ago I had it. I think I'm holding it a little bit too high. There we go. There's the falcon, but it looks like it's upside down. All right, we are the Lou. Now I know it's a little bit blurry in there. And as I walk, both my hands are gonna be moving. So guys, I apologize. But I want you to watch what happens as I sort of slowly walk backwards. Um, and again, I'm trying to keep it focused, but my hands are moving. Um, you're gonna notice some things that look a little bit blurry and a little bit crazy, um, depending on how your perspective of the court is. Right there's the three point line going this way, okay. So I'm getting about halfway across the gym. I'm gonna pause about halfway. Um, and I know, all right, so right now my feet are on the half court line. Okay, if I look down right on the half court line, right at half court, okay. And if I move this around again, there's the we are the Lou. It's still upside down, but it looks a little bit bigger. That's the letter we, it kind of looks like me. Um, but if I were to move this a little bit, we are the Lou. There you go. You can see it. It's a lot easier to do from this part because of how far away it is. It looks like this, the backboard is on the ground. There's the jerseys. And it kind of just looks backwards from what I'm used to. All right. So it looks like my image has gotten a little bit bigger. Remember, we're looking at the one behind me. We're not looking at the gray Lutheran East Falcons on that side. We're looking at the we are the Lou that's behind me. Okay. So now that you can kind of see that, and again, I'm trying to walk a little bit um, just straight backwards. I'm getting closer and closer. Look what's happening to those words as I go. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at how big those words are starting to look right now. Okay? Like there, that one word only is pretty much filling the mirror right now. Which means when I was all the way at the other side of the gym, that image was really small. Look at how big that A is right now. You can see the word R. A-R-E right there. We are the Lou. It's really big right now. And as I keep on going backwards and backwards and backwards and start getting closer and closer, some weird things are going to happen. And now it's kind of hard to tell. And I've lost track of it. Look at how big that letter is. And again, it's kind of hard to tell. That's the W. It's huge right now. It's upside down. But if I were to do and make it be really, really close, and guys, I'm going to have to switch the camera on the video, which, uh, again, um, let's see how well I can do this, because now I can't see the video. 
all right, we would get an image that, if it was my face, would be right side up. So I'm gonna try to do that again in a minute. Uh, it's probably gonna have to be a second video, but right now that was with the black mirror, right? So I got all the way up and you could still see that, but it was flipped upside down. It appeared to be flipped upside down. Um, but remember, this black mirror is quite curved, right? The way of the curve and like, look at that. It just is very interesting. But if I bring it real close right here, um, I'm using an iPad today. Because uh, again, it's, this would be really weird to do with um, my Chromebook and my phone doesn't have enough memory right now. So I came all the way back to the other side. Sorry, I know it's kind of weird once in a while. And I'm going to pick this mirror up. Maybe let's see if we can figure out how you can see me. There we go. Hi, guys. Um, and the two sides of the mirror. This is just the plain flat one. You can tell it's plain and flat because I look pretty normal in the reflection. Like I don't look too much bigger or too much smaller. If I flip to this side, oh, there we go. Can you see how my face looks bigger? So I'm going to use this one again and we're going to look and look at how I'm, I'm all the way at the other side of the gym. Remember how small the other one was? Look at this one all the way at right now already. We are the Lou. It's all the way back there, but look at how big it already is. Okay. And that's because this perspective of this and where this is. So what I'm going to do is kind of do the same thing. And you might be thinking, hey, Miss Jabs, like everything is upright. Nothing's really changing. But look at as I get closer and closer, what's happening to the words this time. All right. So when I was all the way back here, and that's going to be some interesting things, like when we're a far way away, we can get different things and different perspectives. Okay, look at right there. You can see that jersey. It's the right way. And so different things are happening as I get closer and farther away from objects. Okay, so that's one thing I wanted you guys to notice is when you are closer and farther away from objects. Now, the other thing that I would like to kind of set up and work on in here and I can do it a lot easier with the black mirror because it's got these suction cups on the back because it's set up to be like in a locker or something like that. All right. How many of you, let's see here, I got to figure out where the camera is on this thing. And then if the camera's right there where my fingers are. So you guys see the camera and therefore you see my finger. Okay. If I get really close to the mirror, do you see how things look? And then if I back up, this is kind of the same thing we've done. So I know, uh oh, wait, what way is my finger? My finger is upright right here. But if I back up just a little bit, do you see how blurry it gets? And then all of a sudden, if I take about two steps back, uh oh, what's true about my hand and my whole body? Hi guys. Can you see me in there? What's true about me in that? Um, uh, let's see. There we go. What's true about me in that mirror? I'm flipped upside down. And obviously, I think you guys can tell I'm really, really small. So here's the thing. Here's another thing I could do. Look at how small. You can still see me in there. And actually, oh, it gets too blurry. But if I zoom in a little bit on that mirror... You can kind of still see me from how I'm looking right now. I just look like a line. And maybe if I, oh, if I move my feet too much, I move around. The camera moves around too. But look at how small I am. Like there is the door. That's the window on the door. And I'm just that tiny little black line, like right there, that tiny little thing right there. That's all I am. And so again, as I walk towards this, Okay, and as I walk towards this, and I'm going to put my finger on the back of the camera again. Up. So there's this weird thing that happens that right here I'm flipped and it's the right way. My fingers, like I'm pointing up at the camera. My finger is pointing up at the camera, but as I back up, all of a sudden, oh, now I'm pointing down. My finger is pointing down from this tiny amount of space, pointing up, pointing down. And that always happens with a curved camera, excuse me, with a curved mirror like this. Okay, when we have a curved mirror like this, there is a point where our 
image flips upside down. And that's what the diagrams that I'm including with today's um, video have to do with, okay? And so we're gonna talk about that a little bit and that's again, one more time as I back up, as I back up and move away right here, I'm a really, really far away away from that mirror and you see me flipped upside down. And as I move closer and closer, you can see me flip right side up. Now I'm gonna to try to do that as well with the gray mirror, but let's see, hopefully we won't have seven years of bad luck because right here is the gray mirror. Hi guys, once again, you can see me. And as I back up, oh, actually you can still see, okay, that was the background. Right here, you can still see my forehead, lovely, right? You can still see my eyes, I'm still upright. Let me try to move so that my eyes stay in there. You can still see my eyes, they're upright. It kind of gets blurry and then all of a sudden, look. Can you tell what way I am? What happened, oh, definitely tell what way I am. What happened on that gray mirror about right here? But I have to be all the way back here for the gray mirror. And the black mirror, I'm already really small and upside down, okay? So guys, I really wish we could describe a little bit more and talk about it. It really has to do with where the focus is for each of these mirrors. And the focus, again, is how the light bends through each one of these. So the diagrams will hopefully help a little bit with the Google Doc. So there's gonna be a whole bunch I post together. This video is gonna show up and then the PDF file and then a Google Doc that goes with it. But hey, I know I'm upside down. I know it's weird to see me, but bye guys. Thanks for your listening today. And I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. Bye.